Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. In case you haven't guessed by the title, I, along with every other girl on the internet, went and bought some roller skates, didn't I? <laughs> if you have TikTok, if you have any form of social media, you may have noticed, we well, may not have, but you might have done, noticed that so many people right now have jumped on the trend of roller skating. And when I say roller skates, I mean quad skates, so like the four quad roller skates. I've wanted to roll skate for a very, very, very long time. I have inline skated when I was very, very young and I can sort of ice skate. I'm not amazing at it at all. I can sort of stay vertical and that's about it. But the one thing I hadn't tried was actually roller skating. I always thought it looked really, really cool. Even though I'm about as cool as a cremation oven, I wanted to look cool too. And obviously since downloading TikTok, I've seen it everywhere. One of my friends I work with is also a roller skater and obviously talking to her has made me want them even more. So eventually... I caved and I bought some. Before I actually get them out and show you them, I had a nightmare trying to get hold of them. If you two have been trying to get hold of roll skates, especially here in the UK, it's just a nightmare right now because it has just been a trend. I believe her name is Anna, Anna Rock, Anna, oh my God. This babe right here, she has kind of become a TikTok star. Everyone is obsessed with her. She is a really smooth skater. And I think since this whole TikTok takeover, everyone wanted skates. So you can't get them anywhere. It took me hours and hours <laughs> to find some skates. I'm going to be completely honest. When I started looking into skates, I didn't have a frigging clue as to what size to get. This is another reason why it took me so long to get skates. So with my ice skates, my figure skates are a size 7, like the size I do wear in shoes. However, skates apparently are a little bit different and it can depend on the brand. It can depend on the place you get them from, whether it is a UK brand, American brand. So I was very, very very confused. So I was looking at skate charts because a lot of people, their advice was stick to the charts, follow what it says, get that. While other people on help forums or social media were like, nope, get your shoe size or size down, size up. Eventually I just bit the bullet and I went with my shoe size. According to the skate chart of the brand that I got, I should have been a size three. So I'm not slagging off the company that I got them from or the brand of skates that I've got but according to their shoe size you measure your feet by standing against a wall and in centimeters or millimeters that should tell you what size you should get yet according to their shoe size chart I should have been a size three some charts said I was a four however my skates are a seven I actually bought some skates from Skate Hut they have been amazing I've done three purchases from Skate Hut I believe one from their official site and two from an eBay site and they are great. I'm not going to lie though, if you are buying skates, there's a very high chance you're going to have to wait a while. I think mine took nearly two weeks to come from ordering to shipping date. I'm obsessed with them. So these are my skates. They are a little bit battered already because I have been wearing them. These are the Rookie Artistic Skates. And as you can tell, they're like a figure style boot. This is the sort of ice skate I wear, is like the sort of figure skating style boot. The reason why I wanted a boot like this with a heel is the heel can help your balance and the boot gives you a lot of support. I have really bad ankles. I have old gymnastics injuries where my ankle needs to be supported. I can't risk fucking that ankle off again. <laughs> These are the skates I went with. I'm so sorry I'm not doing an unboxing. The reason why is because I had no idea they were going to fit me, so when they did arrive, I filmed a TikTok, which is on both my Instagram and my TikTok. You're more than welcome to go and watch it, because I didn't want to sit down and film a YouTube video to then find out they weren't going to fit. Be disappointed, have to wait weeks for them to get back to them, and then weeks for the new size to come in. When I opened them, I was so happy that they fitted me. So, personally, I would say stick to your shoe size if you're buying the Rookie Artistic Skates. So as you can see, you've got sort of this bubble rookie logo here. You do have some really good quality eyelets. Some people don't lace them up. I lace them all the way to the top and wrap my laces around just because, again, it gives my ankles really good support. They are a very sturdy boot, but then this is so thick. It is so padded on the inside. It's got cushioning all around the ankle. As you can see there, these are some comfy ass skates. I don't think I've had a day skating in them yet where they've been uncomfortable. This, I believe, is an adjustable toe stop. I'm not too sure because I've not tried adjusting it yet. These are amazing. I believe I paid about £75 for them, which 
is a lot of money. I wasn't going to pay that at first when I thought I wanted to get skates, but my boyfriend is a very talented BMXer, skateboarder, aggressive skater. Is it aggressive skater? Aggression skates? Which one is it? The skate proper skate park inline skates. You can do that. So he recommended I just get a slightly better pair, pay a little bit more and risk not hurting myself. And I'm so, so glad that I actually bought these because these are brilliant skates. I'm very, very happy with them. Before I sort of get into my whole skate in progress, the one thing I'm gonna recommend 100% that you do is get protective gear. This is my rookie bag. I got this yesterday. It arrived very, very quickly. It's got breathing holes. I think it cost me like no more than £13. It's got a little pocket at the bag. It's really, really good. My skates fit in it. I can use it for my ice skates if I wanted. And I can't actually just about fit all my protective gear in here. So apart from my helmet, these were one of the first things I actually got. And I couldn't recommend these more. I actually have the brand Harsh, I believe. And you, I think quite expensive if i paid 17.99 for the whole thing but i'm very glad that i did so it came with wrist guards it came with elbow guards and it came with knee guards so i've seen so many videos of people learning how to skate i'm actually on like a beginner roller skater page on facebook and seeing people fall and hit their knees their elbows their wrists it makes me cringe so much so so much i'm an old lady now so i can just lie down on my knees my back my hips everything hurts <laughs> so seeing people fall without protection gear oh my god it stresses me out so much just do it just protect yourself if you don't like the look of it and you think anna octo i'm sorry i don't know her name doesn't wear it and she looks amazing yeah she's been skating for quite a while now and she's very good she's not doing crazy ass stunts she's not learning to skate for the first time so yeah, she doesn't necessarily always need them when she's doing her little videos for TikTok. But if you think they look stupid, I would much rather look stupid wearing this while learning, falling and like being safe than falling, hurting myself and looking like an idiot because I was too proud to wear skate gear. So I'm just going to be honest, these wrist guards do hurt. So if I wear them tight, what like how they should be, they do rub a little bit. So you have this hard bump here it does hold your wrist in a really awkward position but i think if you fall it's meant to help you sort of skid instead of land and snap your wrist and then it also has a very hard plastic plate in there so it's very awkward to sort of move your wrist around however if it means me not breaking my wrist it's a wrist that i'm going to take wearing them and looking stupid mine do rub a lot a little bit here so i've started wearing them a bit looser and sometimes wearing gloves underneath but apart from that elbow pads knee pads they're absolutely brilliant apart from the fact your knees look about six times the size they are it's worth protecting and then the next thing is a helmet if you do not have a helmet do not care about your life this i've actually had for a little while i believe alex got me this for christmas it was a gift and we got it first of all for our bike rides however it's now coming in handy because of my skates. This is the Bullet brand. I do not know how much this was or where it was from because it was a gift. Sure, my head gets sweaty as hell in this, but it's matte black. It looks very nice. And if I fall, it's going to protect my skull. Invest in a helmet, even if it's not a super, super expensive one. If you go down and hit your head, this is going to sound very, very dramatic. But chances are you might not get hurt. But it is very scary to think that if you catch your head in a certain place or position, that can kill you. So 100% I would recommend getting some form of headgear, head protection, helmet, just to be safe. Even if you think you look stupid, you'll look more stupid if you're dead. <laughs> Finally is the bag. This is not protective gear. It's just something that makes my life a little bit easier carrying everything in one bag. We are on at day five of me skating. I am due to go out this afternoon skating with my boyfriend and we're actually going to go to a skate park. It is open. We will be abiding by social distancing laws and I'm nervous because I've only sort of skated in one or two places and new locations freak me out anyway is huge anxiety trigger for me but it'll be a challenge to skate on a new surface i have only skated outdoors so i would love to be able to go to rinks and stuff but right now they are obviously closed so i think that skating on rough surfaces even though it'll be different from indoor skating i think it's probably going to help me because it's going to build my confidence up a bit more you've got things like cracks in the road stones stones are my enemy right now <laughs> yeah so i think that's going to help me become a slightly better skater so when i get to a smoother surface it'll be a breeze hopefully i think i've done maybe seven ish hours skating altogether. personally without boasting i do 
think that I've picked it up quite quickly. I have a gymnastic background. I was a gymnastics coach for years. I was a gymnast myself for years, so my balance isn't too bad. I sort of know how to work my body in certain ways. I have ice skated in the past and inline skated, so I have picked it up kind of quickly i think after my first and second day i was a bit disheartened that i wasn't doing all the tricks in the world but after i posted a video of me on day two onto this beginner page on facebook the feedback i got i was quite shocked everyone was like oh my god you're doing so well so i that made me feel a lot better like i was picking it up quite quickly however if you do start posting stuff online and you are picking things up quickly be prepared for people to not believe you <laughs> a lot of the comments i've received are like no way have you picked it up this fast or how is this your only your second day or surely you've had some experience in the past because a lot unfortunately people if you do better than some people do they then don't believe you it's like if i was to go out and start i don't know surfing not a chance would i be able to do that i would not be able to pick it up doesn't mean I can turn around to say a friend who comes with me who picks up like that and be like no way is this your first time trying it. People pick things up differently. Some people excel, some people struggle. It, that's just how it is. I'm just very grateful that I seem to have picked this up quite quickly. I am still quite wobbly. I do fall a lot. I still can't stop for shit. I would recommend learning to stop <laughs> before you learn other things because you need to be able to stop. And I can stop going backwards but I can't stop going forward so if you think Oh, she's doing too well, so it's not quite right. Don't worry, I am not that great. No, no. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I can't stop the shit. <laughs> I do fall still. I didn't fall! That was incredible. I'm not perfect, don't worry. So far, I can skate forwards. I've been working on my bubbles, I think they're called. Everyone calls them different things. My forwards bubbles, my backwards bubbles. I am awful at skating backwards, but I'm getting there. I've been working on my jumps, my jump turns, jumps up onto platforms, jumps down from platforms. I've worked on my arabesque, as we call it in gymnastics. I don't know what it's called on skates. It might be the same. I managed to master shoot the duck, which I was very shocked at. I was very happy at. <laughs> working on turns, little footwork things, loads of different things and I am loving it so far. I'm actually going to take you down to the skate park with me. I'm not going to take my camera just because I don't want to risk breaking it but the clips will be filmed on my phone so I'm sorry if the quality is quite bad. I recommend it so much. If you can get hold of a pair of skates and it's something you want to try, it is amazing. I'm going to be completely honest, it is a hell of a workout. I knew it was going to be hard because everyone says it's very tough, your legs are going to ache. Oh my god, my legs weren't too bad, but I have hip displacement around both my hips. I'm in a pretty bad way with my hips and every time I get in my skates, I can feel it really badly in my hips. But then the two things I noticed massively with my back and my abs, oh my god, because you are constantly controlling your legs, your body, everything. It hurts, but it is amazing. So I'm going to take you down to the skate park as well. Pray I don't fall, but we'll see how I get on. So that is everything. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. If you want me to do some more skate videos, let me know because I'm happy to. I'm really enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give a massive thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you're not. I'll leave all my social media linked down below as well, including my skate Instagram and my TikTok where I post the most. That is everything. See you in my next one. Bye!